Okay, so this is my 3D modeling of the canvas and side-by-side -side guide of how I created it. So, first of all, I um, got this shelf done. So, uh, first of all, I was creating a box, but it didn't turn out. As you see, the shape was all weird, didn't have enough, um, like, I couldn't really create the shape. I needed to create multiple objects if I combine it. So, um... I placed in a square and scaled it to this thick size and um, got the edges and beveled it and made the edges move and um, with the vertex I dragged and made, made like a slope sort of thing like you can see in the reference image and next I got another square and tried to create the side thing here and to do that I placed a square scaled it to like a rectangle and um, placed in an edge loop in the middle and got the vertices, dragged the top right vertices to the left to create sort of a slope and after that I just got the whole thing, uh, pressed R and, and like scaled it so it, it gives me this shape. I also created a back panel so which was basically simple, I created it was a back uh, place in another square and created a rectangle and just paste it in the back and this is how I got the shelf done um, although I needed to do more I needed to create I got another right I got with the back panel and um, I created an edge loop I think got a face and then stacked that face and did um, extrude and extruded it over to the top and I also created the top little like where it goes up a wee bit so I did that here as well by just adding in another edge loop and going into face and doing um doing um extrude and going upwards. And that was my shelf done. Next uh, I was going to create the sands. So to do that um I placed in another square, scaled it up, tried to get to the right positioning and placed it right behind the shelf and um once I got the right angle based on the reference image. I clicked in, added two edge loops, one here, one here, and basically with the vertices, I stacked the vertices and like just um, dragged them up to get like a, like a circular thing like it is in the reference image, which I got that perfectly. After that, I just duplicated it. Um, with that duplication, I um, just brought it over here like it is in the reference image so once I had that done I started creating the back panels which is right here so like the support I guess and to do that I just created a, rat a rectangle and a, 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 a polygon square and um, transformed it into like a rectangle like that and basically I did the same here made sure it's not overlapping like it is in the reference image then got those boards Next, I duplicated the same object, the the like the sand thing, and just made the width, um, just made the width, uh, give it more width, and basically, yeah, that was it. And then next, I created the um, like the canvas holder here, and to do that, I placed in a rectangle and. Um, just basically did the normal stuff, added edge loop, edge loops, and um, did extrusions, got this shape, which is just like a lot of extrusions. And um, next, I created the the thing in the reference image where it's like a metal part with like different like soppers or something. I don't know what that's for, but I created that. Placed it into the. Um, thing but first I give it edge loops just a bunch of edge loops really it was like 40 edge loops and just um, grabbed all the faces and did extrude and then after that I grabbed them um, two vertices of the same face so two vertices here and then I like, just dragged it down to get kind of the slope which it's like in the reference image so that's what I did there and um, so that was that part done Next, I created the, um, the like the little things under the shelf with the screw. I guess this holds the canvas. 
and I did that. Um, basically simple, it's just uh, placing in squares, giving it um, a rectangle shape. And then next I was creating a screw, which you can see here. I basically place a cylinder and um, got these faces. I placed in two edge loops on each side and just did extrude which kind of gives like a screw, screw sort of shape. Uh, that's what I got there. I basically grabbed these edges and did bevel and just made them just give it more um, edge loops and more detail to make it smooth looking and this is my final screw shape. Um, next I created a cylinder here because in the back image there's like a cylinder which needs to connect here to here so I created that. Next I created another two cylinders and this is for the strap like the bands or whatever you see and I placed it there. Um, but the cylinder I did something different because in the just so the strap could like hold in to make it more realistic so I created two edge loops and did a 3D and went inwards and I did that for both. Then I basically duplicated the top screw and placed them down here. Next um, I was creating the band so to do that I placed in a cylinder and scaled it down. Give it more, I give it um, a subdivision axis of 80, which it was like 10 originally. And then after that, I deleted all these top faces, which give me this. And so I selected all these faces and did X3D and made the thickness 0 0.05, which give me this like sort of band. So after that, um, I basically grabbed these faces and just um, scaled it to get this sort of shape and I did more manipulating and I got the band. Next I just going over small details and um, I grabbed these two vertices and just made a slope then placing the band. To make it more realistic I placed uh, I guess like an extrusion inward so this like metal sopper or whatever it's called it can go up and down. So I did extrusion E and I give it a bit of a dent inwards. So it kind of makes more sense. Um, next I got a screw which was basically placing in a cylinder again and then just um, doing a lot of subdivisions and um, manipulating, babbling, same thing as before. I duplicated the screws to make it more realistic and after that, I got my canvas, which was basically as creating a square and scaling it to fit. And this was my canvas. That was my canvas completed, modeled, and yeah.